Hello learners, in this class we are going to discuss about integrated learning. There are several related terms used in the context of integrated learning and teaching like integrated curriculum, interdisciplinary teaching, multidisciplinary teaching, thematic teaching and synergistic teaching. Integrated learning comes in many varieties, connecting skills and knowledge from multiple sources and experiences, applying skills and practices in various settings, utilizing diverse and even contradictory points of view and understanding issues and positions contextually. Let us consider a situation here. Let us go to the chart that I have prepared for you today. Learners, Ms. Sushma teaches science while Sophia teaches English language in the same class of class 6. While Ms. Sushma was teaching the characteristics of different parts of a plant showing systematically, on the other hand, Sophia was trying to develop appreciation of beauty in nature through a poem in the text. One day, both of them decided to take the class together combining science and poetry. The topic they chose was related to flowers. They planned the lesson in details wherein Miss Sushma was to deal with the different types of flowers and the parts of hermaphrodite flowers which is also called as the complete flower and Miss Sophia was to recite and develop appreciation for beauty of different types of flowers. But due to some accident, Miss Sophia had to remain absent in that class. Miss Sushma carried on teaching with the plan both of them prepared together. In this situation, Miss Sushma was using integrated teaching in the learning process. So, integrated learning refers to education that is organized in such a way that it cuts across subject matter lines bringing together various aspects of curriculum into meaningful association to focus upon broad areas of study. It views learning and teaching in a holistic way and reflects the real world which is interactive. Therefore, integrated learning includes a combination of subjects, sources that go beyond textbooks, relationship among concepts, thematic units as organizing principles, an emphasis on projects, flexible schedules, flexible student groupings. Well, learner, let us now understand the process and types of integration with the help of a chart that I have here brought for you. Let us go to the chart once again. This is the process and types of integration. Under the types, there are three different types of integration. The first one is called the integration within the subject areas. Under this, the type of integration is called intradisciplinary integration. Second one is the between the subject areas. Under the between subject areas, there are two types of integration. One is called multidisciplinary and the second one is called interdisciplinary integration. The third type of integration is called as the beyond subject areas. That means the integration beyond the subject areas under which the type of integration which is called as the transdisciplinary integration. Let us discuss about integration between subject areas. The process of integrating the knowledge and skills of two or more different subjects during the teaching learning process may be of two types as we already discussed that is multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary. In multidisciplinary integration, the subject area outcomes remain distinct but due to some meaningful linkages, they are connected together during the process of interaction. I have brought one more chart for you showing the relationship of different subjects to each other and the common theme that is water. Let us take a look at the chart that I have brought for you. In this chart, the common theme that I have taken is water. Now take a look at this figure and see 
and try to understand how we can with the help of one topic different teachers can teach their subject areas. Suppose take the example of a mathematics teacher. A mathematics teacher related to water he can teach about the measurement of volumes and flow of water. For a science teacher he can relate the theme water by teaching about the removal of impurities, waterborne diseases and water cycles. What a geography teacher will do? The geography teacher will relate the theme water with the topics like natural sources of water springs, rivers, oceans, underground sources of water. Now what a language teacher will do with water? A language teacher can relate the theme water by teaching about the composition like prose and poetry on water, rain, rivers, springs, etc. A physical science teacher can relate the theme water by teaching constitutional elements and physical and chemical properties of water, states of water, etc. The history teacher similarly can relate the theme water by teaching and relating water disputes. So this is a good example of multidisciplinary integration of the subject. Now let us discuss about interdisciplinary integration. Interdisciplinary integration is a process of integrating the interdependent or common knowledge and skills from more than one subject areas during transaction process. For example, concept of mathematics and science are acquired by integrating to singing, sculpting and painting and dancing. Let us take a look at the figure that I have brought for you relating to the example of integration of learning. In this figure, the main theme or the concept is the mathematics and science. Now the teachers really how they will relate mathematics with science? Well, they can take the help of singing, sculpting, painting and dancing. This is called as the integration of subjects. Now let us discuss about integration beyond the subject areas. Integration beyond subject areas or transdisciplinary integration is a process where the students day to day experiences are connected to the different subject areas to acquire knowledge and skills. In other words, interdisciplinary and disciplinary skills in a real life context are focused in transdisciplinary integration. For example, project based on learning and teaching. In a project based on learning students tackle a local problem and then learn the concepts and skills through the process of exploring and solving projects. Let us again look at the picture that I have brought for you. This is the example of transdisciplinary interaction. Here as we already told that the theme goes beyond the subject areas. So here mostly emphasis will be given on the real world contexts students questions and life skills and this ultimately is a very practical knowledge that a student can ever get from their integrated themes. Well learners, I hope by now you have come to know about the various different types of integration of learning. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.